In 1908, William Jennings Bryan is defeated for the presidency. Four years later, Thomas Woodrow Wilson succeeds where Bryan has three times failed. And across the Atlantic, Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany and Archduke Francis Ferdinand of Austria hunt together. The assassination of one, Ferdinand, in 1914, and the fateful decision of the second, the Kaiser, plunges mankind into its first world war, a war that will last for four years and will bury eight million men. On April 6, 1917, President Wilson signs the declaration of war against Germany. As America mobilizes, Major Douglas MacArthur urges the organization of a division of National Guard units from as many states as possible. A division that will spread across the country like a rainbow. Thus it is that the famed Rainbow Division is born and that Douglas MacArthur, promoted to colonel, is made its chief of staff. Soon, convoys of U.S. ships are Europe-bound. American boys are off to win the war that will end all wars. Not knowing nor dreaming that a quarter of a century later, their own sons will make this same long journey. On the battlefields of France, Douglas MacArthur is to write a record of heroism that is to make of him, at 38, the youngest American general in the war. Secretary of War Newton Baker calls MacArthur the bravest frontline general in France. He is twice wounded, twice gassed, decorated 13 times, and cited seven times more for extreme bravery under fire. In a battlefield ceremony, General Pershing presents MacArthur with a Distinguished Service Cross. 